Welcome to the homework for lesson 13. It's grade 1, module 2. Get your name on here first. We're using five group rows to solve and crossing out to show our work. And we're going to write number sentences. That's the example right here. This is what they're looking for. <coughs> See, for a 13, we're looking for a 10, 3, right? Because we want to make everything, we want to use 10s. And we're going to take from 10, so we need 10. And then we're going to subtract, subtracting 9, so we're going to cross out 9. And see how it's just one long row here? We don't have to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to cross out. Because we know when we cross out 9 from 10, there's going to be one left. We can just take them all at once without even counting. And that's subtracting. That's the difference between counting and subtracting. So that's what we want to do. That's why we're drawing the pictures, and that's why we're practicing taking from 10. We want to use what we know to make it easier and faster. In a park, ten dogs are running on the grass and one dog is sleeping under the tree. So here, here's the ten dogs that are running. And this is here's the one that's sleeping under the tree. Nine of the running dogs leave the park. So here are the running dogs. Nine of them leave the park. How many dogs are left in the park? Well, there's that one from the ten and one more. That's two. Two dogs left in the park, but we need our number sentence still. And we need a hole for this, ten and one. If those are the parts. The hole has to be eleven. So we need eleven dogs minus the nine who left the park. Two left in the park. 11 minus 9 equals 2. That's everything we need to have. So you have to have these labels. You have to have the finished number bond. And you have to have a crossed out picture. And you have to have that number sentence. You have to have all of that. Alejandro had nine rocks in his yard and ten in his room. So here's nine in his yard and ten in his room. And ten and nine together make... 19. There are number bonds already finished. And these are all Alejandro's rocks. Let's say A for Alejandro. Nine of the rocks in his room are gray rocks. And the rest of his rocks are white. So here are the ten in his room. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Nine of the rocks in his room, that's these, one, these right here, are gray rocks and the rest are white. How many white rocks does he have? So these are the gray ones. So all the rest of them are white. That's these nine up here, plus one more, which is 10. 10 white rocks. And we're looking at this. It's 19 minus 9, which we crossed out, 10 left. Sophia has 8 toy cars in the kitchen and 10 toy cars in her bedroom. So 8 in the kitchen, 10 in the bedroom, and these are 8 and 10 are parts, so 18 is our whole. And that's these are Sophia's toy cars. S for Sophia. So we need 10 for the cars in her bedroom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And eight for the ones in her bedroom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine of the toy cars in the bedroom, those are these right here. Nine are blue. So that means there's going to be one left that's red. So this one is red. And all of these are also red. So this is 8 
right? We know that. We don't have to count it because we started with that, and we know that's 8, and 1 more is 9, so that means there has to be 9 red cars. And our number sense is going to be 18. That was the whole. Minus the 9 blue cars equals 9 red cars. Now it can be a bit of a puzzle because you've got cars in her bedroom, cars in her kitchen, cars that are red, cars that are blue. But just draw the picture, label the picture, cross out the picture. Don't try to do it all in your head at once. And we're still just completing the number bond and fill in the math story. So we've got a few blanks to fill in here. Well, let's look at this number bond first. Complete the number bond first. That's what we're going to do. So parts of 10 and 4 means we had to have a whole of 14. And use five group rows and, cro group rows and cross out to show your work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then the 4 is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there were... 10 birds splashing in a puddle and 4 birds. Let's, let's see what will work. <clears throat> let's try the 10 and the 4, right? 10 birds splashing in a puddle and 4 birds walking on the dry grass. 9 of the splashing birds flew away. So the 9 has to get crossed out from the 10. So the 10 has to be, those have to be the ones that were splashing. S. So these are the splashing birds. And then the other four, these are the ones uh, that were walking. These are the walking birds. So there were ten splashing in a puddle and four walking on the dry grass. And then these nine splashing birds flew away. And the ones that are left, there are five. So the number senses we're going to write are that we had 10 plus 4 equaled 14, right? That's how we figured out our whole for how many birds there were. But then we also had to figure out 14 minus 9 to figure out how many birds were left. If there's 14 total birds, Nine flew away, and we figured out that there are five left. And there's our answer. There are five birds left.